Hello and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Kevin from Logamus. In this tutorial, you will learn how to stream a Vicon Solving Skeleton into Motion Builder. We target a custom character to that Vicon Solve inside Motion Builder. And finally, stream that character into Unreal Engine. Some studios may choose to have dedicated machines for each program. For example, a studio might have a dedicated Shogun PC streaming into a dedicated Motion Builder PC, streaming into a dedicated Unreal Engine PC. In this example, I will run Shogun on my laptop, stream the data into a desktop, and stream it back again to my laptop into Unreal Engine. First, download the Motion Builder plugins for Vicon and for Unreal Engine. I will leave download links for both plugins in the description. You can download the Vicon plugin from the Vicon website. Install through the wizard. Unreal Engine plugin, download from GitHub. Copy the contents of the plugins folder. C drive, program files, Autodesk, Motion Builder 2022, bin 64, plugins, paste, reset Motion Builder if it is open. Run Shogun Live with performers in your capture volume to stream, or like in this example, use Vicon Virtual System to stream pre-recorded data. Asset Browser, Vicon Stream Device Plugin, drop into scene. You can set the server address here. This is the IP address of the PC that you are receiving Vicon data from. On the Shogun Live machine, find the server address by opening command prompt, type ipconfig, find ipv4 address, set the server address, stream bones, remove character namespace from object, model binding, create scene, select online. This will populate the scene with the calibrated characters and props that are in the Shogun Live tracking tab. In this example, we are only interested in the Amanda and Jess characters. However, you can stream props as well. Select live. Pause live stream in an A pose. Import the character. File, merge, select character FBX. Disable animations, apply namespace, rename Amanda Samurai. Using this namespace is important to ensure Motion Builder does not rename bones and affect streaming. Merge. Now characterize our Vicon skeleton. Asset browser, character tab, character. Drag and drop onto the hips of the character. Characterize, biped, rename it. Navigator, characters tab, right click, rename Amanda Vicon. Reposition and scale characters to match the Vicon solve. Match the position as best as possible. For this demo, I spent less time on the hands. You should spend more time and care for your characters. Now characterize our character skeleton. Asset browser, character tab, character, drag and drop onto the hips of the character, characterize, biped. Rename it, navigator, characters tab, right click, rename, Amanda Sarah. Now retarget this character. Double click Amanda Samurai. Character settings, input type, character. Input source, Amanda Vicon. Activate. You may get an offset occur. To fix this, set match source. Retargeting, match source. Unpause live stream, navigator, devices, Vicon stream, unpause live stream. Check the stream to make sure the retarget is working correctly. Additional adjustments of the hands using IK blends and pull. Select Amanda's character, controls, adjust IK blends, translation and rotation, adjust IK pull. Now repeat for all characters. Remember to apply a namespace to avoid naming convention clashes. Now I will 
will set up the stream into Unreal Engine. Asset Browser, Devices, UE Live Link Plugin, drag into the scene. Online, Subject Selector, select the root joint of the character's skeletal hierarchy. For Amanda Samurai, this joint is Character 1, Reference, Add. Repeat for additional characters. If streaming across a network, set the unicast endpoints to your IPv4 address and a port number. On the Mobu machine, open command prompt, type ipconfig, find IPv4 address, type in your IPv4 address and add a port number. Port 7221 is the recommended port on the UE documentation. Firewall may block this UDP messaging. To fix this, change firewall settings on UE computer. Firewall advanced, inbound rules, new rule, port, UDP, all ports, next, domain, private, next, rename UDP messaging. Open up Unreal Engine, enable the LiveLink plugin, settings, plugins, enable LiveLink, restart Unreal Engine. To open the LiveLink panel, go to Window Virtual Production LiveLink. To establish a Mobu LiveLink connection, select Source, Message Bus Source, Mobu LiveLink. Import a skeletal mesh. I have already imported the same character as I imported into Motion Builder. Let's begin the process of animating this character. Create a blueprint, content browser, right click, blueprint class, actor, rename to BP Samurai Test. Open the blueprint, components, add, skeletal mesh, select the character's skeleton. Compile, save. To apply our streamed animation to the blueprint actor, we need to make an animation blueprint class. Content browser, right click, animation, animation blueprint, select the character's skeleton, rename AnimBP, Samurai Test. Open the animation blueprint, right click, create a live link pose node, set live link subject name Amanda Samurai, link results, compile, save. To remove error message, Create a local space reference pose, link to input, compile, save. To apply this animation blueprint to the actor blueprint we made earlier, reopen the blueprint for Samurai Test, components, skeletal mesh, details panel, animation, animation mode, use animation blueprint, use AnimBP Samurai Test, the animation blueprint we just made, add, Live link skeletal animator, select details, auto activate, compile, save. Now you will see the animation come through in the viewport editor. I will now quickly set this up for two people. And there you have it. We have successfully streamed a Vicon solving skeleton into Motion Builder where it was retargeted and sent to Unreal Engine for a real time workflow. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thank you for watching.